Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a clickable button in Figma that changes its look when you interact with it. By the end of this video, you'll not only have designed a button, but you'll have made it interactive, just like the ones you see in real websites and apps. Whether you're working on a prototype or want to impress your team with your design skills, this is a must-know Figma technique. So let's jump straight in. First things first, make sure you're inside Figma ready to go. If you don't already have a new file open, take a moment to do that now. Once you're in, let's start by creating the base shape for our button. Select the rectangle tool, it's over there in the toolbar on the left. Click and drag to draw a rectangle on your canvas. Now here comes the design magic. We want this button to look rounded and friendly, so up in the properties panel, find the corner radius and set it all the way up to 100. Yep, 100. That'll give you those super smooth, pill-shaped corners that are really modern and inviting. Now think about what your button says. Maybe it's submit or get started, whatever makes sense for your project. Switch to the text tool, click inside your rectangle and type in your button label. You can move the text around so it sits perfectly centered on the button. And just a little tip, take a second to adjust the font and size so it's legible and matches your overall design. The whole idea is to make that button easy to find and use. Once your rectangle and text are looking good, let's treat them as a single unit. Hold down Control and press G, this groups them together. Grouping is fantastic because now when you move or resize, both the shape and the text will stick together like a team. The next step is making our button reusable. Right-click the group and choose Create Component. In Figma, components are sort of like templates, you can use them over and over, and if you change the main one, all the copies update too. So now your button's ready for action. Interactions are up next, and for that we'll add a variant. You might be thinking, what exactly is a variant? Well, think of it as an alternative state for your button, so imagine how the button might look when someone hovers over it or clicks it. Click the Add Variant button and you'll see a new version of your button pop up. Select that new variant and let's change the color so it stands out. For example, you might give it a darker shade or switch to a different accent color. This color change is what users will see when they interact with your button, instantly letting them know something has happened. Alright, let's make the button do something. Go to the prototype tab in Figma, the one with the little connector symbol. Here where the magic happens. You'll see circular nodes on your button variants. Simply grab the blue node from your default button and drag it over to the other variant. In the menu that pops up, set the interaction to on-click and choose Change To, pointing it at that new colored button state. If this sounds complicated, don't worry, Figma really holds your hand through the process, and with a little practice, it quickly becomes second nature. Once that interaction is set, it's time to put your new button to the test. Head over to the Assets panel, find your new button component, and just drag it into a frame. This is like dropping it onto a page in your design. For this example, let's choose frame 2, but you can use any frame you like. Now for the grand reveal, hit the play button in the top right to launch the prototype. When you click your button, it should snap to the new color, showing off that slick, interactive effect. And that's it, you've just built a clickable button in Figma, complete with interactive states. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, and if you have any questions or if you ran into any issues, just drop a comment down below, I'm always here to help. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more hands-on Figma tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and happy designing!